Now, <clears throat> since that bomb has gone off, I want Hogan to roll a percentile. Mm. Mm. I have a feeling I know what I'm rolling this for. Because okay. right. <laughs> it's probably going to mean there's about three kobolds on a silt that's filled up with cannons and cannonballs that are going to think that is the boom. The this boom. Moment. 38. Okay. We'll find out next time Welcome on back. The Necromantic Empire. Fantasy on the game. Gatolizo. 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 Season 3. I'm your ghost, Alina. Wait for applause. Once the crew has cut the line to get to the Goblin Castle, the NPC confront Elber. Elber, a cousin of Hogan's, has become captain of the guards, and with a small group of highly competent troops, is the only thing standing between Hogan and his uncle Chet. Here are today's NPCs. I'm Cookie. I'm a horse. I'm really good at being a horse. A normal, evil horse. Hogan Savage here, your favorite Goblin King. Looks like this part of the adventure had really kicked off with a bang, didn't it? Oof, it's Kreef again. I'm still a good boy. I even learned how to swim now. Woof! Now take it away, love of my unlife. Also, is there any opportunity to call in reinforcements, or is that just... No, that's completely up to you. I think the boom would be enough to summon some more guards. Let's give them a little bit. Let's give them some time. They're not just waiting outside. That'd be rude. Uh, Three of them fall as they uh, try to to go around the the bananas. (laughs) (laughs) I can't believe that worked. It's always funny when it happens to someone else. It is. is. And I think that takes us back to Cookie. Cookie. Okay. Am I still near anybody? Uh, You guys haven't moved, so... Okay. You three are next to each other. So the, the people that fell... Wait. They would be closer, because I think I just got a five-foot line, like, right in front of us. Okay, well, I, again, I reach for the nearest one, and I I go stibbity-stabbity. Um, does 11 hit? No, it does not hit. Stibbity stabbity, you got a new cavity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll use. Um, I can do two hits with my scimitar, so I'm gonna try again. Oh yeah, you got. Is it a scimitar or a cutlass? Oh, I, I couldn't remember if it was up after the test what the curved swords were. Ow! <laughs> uh, I remember they're curved swords. <laughs> it's like which one's more one? Hit. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. And was this a totally different one or the same one you went around for? I'll do the same one. Okay. So you hear it as he does. Oh, sweet. I'll take a bite out of that. I see. You get. Was yours on the ground or was yours still standing? Cookie. I, I think mine was still standing. Yeah, because there was no. Uh, you wasn't prone, so didn't get an advantage of this. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and take a stab at one of the prone ones to give me advantage since they're prone. Mm-hmm. All right, Bluter, here's your first taste of blood this adventure. Oh, freaking time. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing it now. We're doing it now. Swing, baby swing. Uh, plus seven. Swing. 22. <laughs> so that'll be... Two fire and 16 points of damage. You hit one of the prone ones. You get the nice sizzle of sausage. Mmm. Burnt, crunchy bits. And then while the blue knife is still in it, I drag him towards us. Back into our line. Roll strength. Strength? Okay. Nine, never mind. I struggle. Like, come on. So I'll take blue knife out again and then just... Yeah. Stuff him back in. Uh, that time even higher, so 24. Weirdly, misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're yeah, looking yeah, yeah. for exactly this number. Nothing over, nothing less. Four, nine normal damage and five more fire. Oh, Bob Barker is here. we got to hit it without going over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, nice. Shit, I forgot to put my strength bonus on those. You dumb bitch. Natural 20. Oh. Eight points. This one, uh, my highest is a 15, but I think I missed you. Yeah, I'm a 17. Three. 15. Hit. Take four. Again. 12. This is Hogan. Yeah, huh? 18. No. Missed me by one. Three. Wow. <laughs> Consistency. Right. <laughs> Another three. Set to total of seven. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Crease, what are you doing? That guy's running away. Can I jump over the guards? He's running away. He took a step back. He's running away. Oh, okay. oh help uh, You do, but that's going to be an uh, opportunity to attack on, on you. You're going to get poked poke. by two? three of them. Yeah. Mm. Because two just got up, so yeah. Mm. They're still holding the line. How tall is the ceiling? There is no ceiling. It's an this is an open courtyard. There's 50 the walls are 50 foot. Would I be able to jump over them to get to him? No. Okay, you can jump over to get to them, yes. Okay. But you can't jump over them without the opportunity of attack. So still going to get a chance to swim. How is jumping calculated in 5e, or is that one of those cursed questions? I think it's a cursed question. Okay, Because uh, cool, cool. my, my, I thought I had interpreted it as you were going to jump over away and, not, and be out of the reach, which would require you to go straight up and then... I know we're breaking physics anyway, but it doesn't matter, so. <laughs> yes, you can jump over. You're big enough to do that. You're going to have three swings at you. How, are they completely surrounding us then? Uh, or would I be able to back up and get like a small running start? Uh, I think it's more that they have reach with their poles. Yeah. Uh, unless, you could, unless your jump height is like 20 feet. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yes. I, don't, I don't think it's an issue of you jumping over them. Yeah, I think you can with your character, as is, even from a standstill. Okay. Uh, but it's yeah, you're just going to open yourself up for some shots. Would Kreeth care about that? Yes. Okay. Hmm. That's one of the first yeses we've gotten in a long time from Kreeth. <laughs> Self preservation from Kreeth, a rare quality. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I just take. <laughs> Stand back about 10 feet. And I'm just going to hold my action. It's my turn. Oh, boy. All right. So, that, I think what I'm going to do is, um, go ahead. If uh, if you three could tell me your kind of arrangement within this semicircle of people. Like, Cookie, you're on, like, one side of it. I think I'm kind of in the middle. In the middle, and Creep, you're next to... I just took step back ten feet. Okay. Still should have been an opportunity to attack. Ah. Then I'll use my action to disengage and move back. Oh, that works. And yeah, I'm no longer holding an action. No, yeah. I, I let it go anyway. I was. Oh, it's more so. Uh, I just wanted to see how alone Hogan was. And it sounds like sufficiently. I mean, Cookie's still next to me. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, I guess mind your manners. Um, El Bear's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I only took like a step back so he wouldn't be in immediate repost range for throwing shit. Um, he's going to try to make it here. Do you think he can make it there? With like, no no problem. With jumping, because he has a plus 12 to acrobatics. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to roll for that. Uh, where's it? I'll take one of those. Oh, thank God. All right, so that's 25 for acrobatics. Jump over the uh, the um, obstacle course from middle school. Uh, with such a high roll, would you like to like describe how, how far I'm going to are about this? Oh, he's going to do a sick flip. Okay. And, and during that flip, he's going to pull out... Uh, what sword is that? Because you don't have any swords listed here. You just have unarmed strikes. No, uh, you have your two swords. Two swords, yeah. yeah. So he's going to pull out just one. He's going to keep another one on his hip. Um, all right. I only get the real good roll with both of them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. And for the bonus action, he's going to something out of his pocket and put it into your pocket. And so that would be a stat 20 to slip something into Hogan's pocket. Okay. I don't know how this works. I'm trying to think of how that would work. Uh, passive perception? I have pockets? You have pants. You, you got new that pants. Big, about that big there. buoyant thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah it's got pockets, yeah. Yeah. So while he's doing all of this flourishing, he's going to slip something into your pocket. 
Um, what's your passive perception? Passive perception is not going to be great. My perception right now is only uh, normally a one. Passive's a twelve. Yeah, yeah. So just in the in the flurry of all this, you you miss it. Uh, he's going to take a swing at you with that one sword. What's your AC again? Nineteen. Six plus what you say? Four. Yeah, no, that misses. So <laughs> swing and a miss. Uh, that's that's I think my move unless he gets two attacks. No. Oh yeah, you got two attacks. Oh boy, let's try again. So that's a sixteen plus four. So that's a stat twenty. Yep, that'll it. Okay, cool. So we're gonna roll for damage on that. It's Twelve. What? <laughs> God. Okay, twelve, and then I'm gonna need to roll a d10. Uh, as he hits the bottle, he puts your pocket of a uh, explosive potion. Mm. You take eight points of fire damage, and there's no roll for that because it's on you. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, my hit points are at exactly 69 right now. The nice. fight's over. Nice. Fight is over. It's twice you've done that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pack up. It's been great, guys. <laughs> um. The future was wild. Albert. Well, oh. Insider. Okay. Four. This shenanigans. Hogan, roll a 10-slider. You die immediately. Probably. <laughs> Five. So you hear this, and the stables were on fire, get hit by a cannonball. A little bit of an explosion, nobody's near it. Gets hit. Very faintly in the back, you just hear. Oh my god, they actually got the signal. This fucking rocks. All right, so now I need everybody to uh, uh, roll your wisdom. Just make a wisdom save. Oh shit. Oh, wisdom. I got a 16. Okay. 12. 15. 10. 10. Everybody seems to be okay and, and, and still willing to bet. And on that note, uh, Cookie's going to get the brunt of all these since everybody else backed up. And they learned from their opportunity to attack this day. 18. I believe that does hit you, right, Cookie? Yes. Uh, nobody was intimidated by the cannonball smashing the already on fire fake stable. Maybe right. there was like a, a grand total of four on that explosive one. prop in there. <laughs> 17 hits you, right? It's all part of the grandiose um, nature. My AC is 17. Okay. We're also Take another seven. <laughs> they just put a horse head on a barrel of black powder. Take another seven. Because okay. I rolled a 17. One of them breaks no. his spear. Uh, what? How did I fucking <laughs> raise such a shitty defense group? I'm Better asking equipment. the same questions. You're the only one worth shit over they there. couldn't even get a cardiac arrest. Creep. For another four points. <laughs> so... Damage done? Uh, so that brings us to Freeth, 18. <laughs> Cookie. Let's go. Yeah. And okay. I, and I go and I run straight into you, hit you on the side kind of gently. We're going to dimension door right next to Elbert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to broadside Cookie into another dimension and come out next to Elbert? Yeah. This is fucking cool. Yeah. Blink dog. And what, what do you have to do for this? I mean, there, there's no roll, I'm assuming. Nope. Okay. As long as you can see it, that's a spell, Wait. isn't it? I don't even have to see it. I can name a direction. 500 foot straight up. You can just be like, I want to go 30 feet that way. Yes. Just be that way. And just be uh, that way. Just, Take through, 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 just through walls and shit? Yeah. Oh Wait, I thought God. you were always a warg. You're a, you're a giant blink dog? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See? All right, so. This explains why you don't look like the half-naked <laughs> ratty mangy guns, and you look like a golden retriever. And then I will move to the other side of Elbert. So we're on either side. I believe there's a term for that that rogues really like. Flanking. Yes, I do like that one. Okay. That's also my turn. Okay, do uh, a 15 and an 18 hit. Yes. You're about to be in a world of pain. (laughs) Cookie's really the hero in this group. I'm just the voice, and I'm a bad one. 29 damage. All together, or, or just all together? Okay. What was the damage of one of the, your first attack? That was like thirty-one, wasn't it? No, 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 not that. This okay. one, because oh, you did two attacks, right? Three. I did two attacks, so like both of them together. Ah, well, in that case, I I just wanted to be fair. Um, I used my reaction as to do an uncanny dodge and have the attacks damage against me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that um, takes it down to what? Oh. So like if, oh, so you need them separately. That's yes. that's why I was asking because I wanted to be fair to you, but I also could just have that total. <laughs> I 
I mean, I rolled all of them at the same time. Okay, let's just do that then. Um, what, what was the total? 29. 29? Yeah, let's not do 29 damage. Let's take it down to 15. I do math. I know how to do math. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> this isn't looking great. But what he's going to do, start his turn, is throw down a smoke bomb. He will hold out another bottle from his pocket. Uh, Don't let him put it in your pocket, it hurts. <laughs> he smashes the glass against the ground, and a cloud of smoke is uh, fills a 20-foot radius. <laughs> so that takes up. That covers almost everybody except yep. Hogan. Its area is heavily obscured, and I don't know what that means technically, but it's a thing. Yeah, me too. Still sucks. The smoke's in my eyes, and this burns. Um, is stealthing an action or what? You would have to use yep. your turn to do a stealth check then and see if you could hide. All right, cool. I'm doing that stealth check. So that's fourteen. That's not great, <laughs> but it's stealth nonetheless. Not like I can fucking. St- like perceive things that are in front of me with this character. Yeah, yeah. so um, oh, 14, they've also have the disadvantage of not being able to see. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to just move out uh, from between them. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, about 30 feet that way. Back back in a way. You're, you're heading to the en- entrance. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that works. Yeah. Um, I'd like to think that Elbert is smart enough to leave when he's dying. <laughs> and possibly call for me. Yeah, uh, is the backup coming? Call for it. I could have sworn the uh, the explosions would have been a pretty good tell for someone to. That Works for my backup. That's our backup. <clears throat> yeah, work for that backup. You should train your backup to come to explosions. I'm just saying, Albert. I should train them how to stab that. Frankly, it's also an adventure where people fight all the time. So in a that's castle? the castle. Should there be explosions in a castle? It's an adventure ride. This is where people go to fight and kill the guards in the castle. I you said know, earlier. Yeah. While he's. Mm, can't can't sneak and yell at the same time. So does he have? He's gonna what, he's gonna sneak. And, and, he's got a scry. He's gonna, yeah. He's gonna say he calls out his scries. It's like reinforcements in the courtyard. Um, I'm I'm okay with that if the three of you are just, okay with that. I just want to make it so that it'd be at a. Yeah, he's keeping his arms and hands inside the ride. I'm just there. saying, there's food a, or drink. No, it hasn't been that sign yet. I'm saying there's a lot of ride. smoke blocking the sun. It's gonna make it a little darker. I better see the screen brightness go up on that fucking scry. I want your smoke yeah, cloud to just kind of barely obscure you. Now it's fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it, you you see a faint light disappear into the fog. As he, yeah. He, voice to text. Get the fuck up here right now. God damn it. I need to turn off the haptic feedback. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> see the loud as a... Oh, hang on. I'm going to just go ahead and say this. I looked it up. Heavily obscured. Like, lightly obscured is disadvantage. Heavily obscured means that you fail any ability to check that requires sight. Oh, so you are blind. You are effectively blinded. Okay. And Neat. then attack rolls against creatures that are blinded or uh, in heavily obscured have advantage. And creatures attack okay, rolls So I was just doing that to like, make a check to see. Uh, hey, Bluter, can you do something about this fog? Uh, Don't you have like some ability where you can suck magic in? Oh. All right. Um, how bright can you glow? That's about the bright. Like about torch level, maybe a little more. Or turn your headlights on in the fog. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and get the LED upgrade, but it really wouldn't work. You just put a flying bag at you, slide refracts and sensors back, and like your eye, and maybe a laser, and it's like looking up in the sun. And like, ah, hey, oh wait, yeah, sorry. I'm not okay. I gotta stop. Um, so uh, even with the bluter glowing, like you can barely see anything, right? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't well, I know anything. roughly where the guards were. So I'm gonna take a five mm-hmm. foot step to the side. Okay. And then a five foot step forward, and that'll be my turn. Because I'm assuming they're gonna All keep right. poking in the same location. They were not Probably. warned. Would you like me to no. try and do a no. sneak on that? I'm not okay. worried about a sneak. Uh, but I do need you to roll a... Just roll a d10. Three. Where's the next one go? <laughs> That's always my favorite answer every time you roll something. Okay. Like, you die immediately. Cannonball damage. Look it up. Cannonball oh, you specifically yeah. are looking it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. what? Boom damage? <laughs> yeah, need boom oh. damage. Five. E. Boom damage. Uh, no, I'm going to type in cannonball. Damage. Uh, I might say construction... Oh, fuck all. 8d8? 
It's 8d10. Okay, I was close. All right, bludgeon. Would you like to borrow a couple of d10s? <laughs> Is it for me? Is that where it's going? No, actually, it's not you. I'm sorry, Kreef. I loved you. I'll, I'll, I'll let the math person add this up. Oh, my fucking God. Hang on. Uh, all right, if you want to try to rain man this. He will. All right. Four, six, three. Is that a one, eight, eight, one, six, seven, and five? Forty-nine. Really? All right. Uh, you rolled a three. That. Not the doubt you That's the <laughs> And the guards. <laughs> like ground zero? Yeah. Um, let me see if that's something that people dodge, or if that's well, just the something explosion's going to clear the fog out. Well, all I hear is a... <laughs> now you can see. <laughs> it was blinding and... Oh. I like how it says range 600 to 2400 feet. One target. Like, a building. But not like a group of people. I figured boom is boom. Boom is boom. Put that on a shirt. We got merch, baby. Got emotional cobalt here. No, down here. Lower. Dates eat. Hi, I'm Hook. I'm here to play a promotional spot for another D&D podcast. We here at the Necromantic Empire. Enjoy. So, if you have enjoyed this show, please check out the following podcast. Do you like stories with world building? We're in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Comedy? It was a rough birthday for Scrawhen. Oh no, it's birthday! Drama? You need to ask my brother to leave. He is not here to be productive. Oh, you don't have to ask me to leave. Heartbreak? What are you talking about? I'm gay! I thought so too! Wonderful, a somewhat DND podcast every other Wednesday, wherever you get podcasts. <laughs> it's oh canon! God. It's <laughs> canon! Rip and Peace Hemroid. So, I'll do this part. The What's left of the line of guards uh, is literally flat. The smoke swirls out in this nice little ring as it clears up. It's enough concussion to actually put the fire out in the thick stables. Mushroom cloud goes. Yeah, everybody can. Everybody can see, and uh, yeah, where are you, health wise? So uh, who's left standing? Me? Not me. <laughs> Wait, what? Wasn't I near Creek? Yeah, but you weren't on the roll. You're 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 far enough away, according to this, that okay. everybody else is okay. I'm not doing that much radius because. Otherwise, I think I'd be killing the rest of us. If, if we want to pull out the fucking Warhammer charts and shit and, like, determine which direction shrapnel goes, we can do that. If you want the bad news, you have no way to... I mean, you're going to have to tell them to stop before anything else happens. Yeah, because they're going to keep doing but you keep hearing... And more bad news, you back. have no idea how many cannons they put on the salt because they were told to put as mm-hmm. many as they could. So, Elbert. It's Elbert's turn? Yes. And you just watched uh, your smoke bomb clear... The remaining guards leveled, and uh, oh yeah, because it probably just blows a lot of the smoke out the way. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Boy, it'd be a real shame to be near that. Uh, he pulls out two bottles from his pockets. <laughs> Anything else? Um, no, he's gonna fucking throw explosives. <laughs> God damn it, Albert! From a from a nice, beautiful, safe distance. Okay. Um. Let me pull that sheet back up. Oh, good God. This guy. I didn't think I'd have fucking six tabs open for this, but here we yeah, stand. You'd be surprised sometimes. Oh, I sh- I think the surprise is the fact that I didn't think it'd be this involved for me today. <laughs> um, but, you know, when, when, you, when you're a guy with an alchemy kit and sleight of hand, you just suddenly get shit. And then also cannons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's ten to throw explosive. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to say that misses? Yeah, that misses. All right, then he throws the other one. Who are you actually throwing it at? Oh, I'm throwing it at uh, the people nearest to me, because the other ones are way that too would be The one closest to you is going to be Cookie. Yeah, Cookie. Yeah, so that's an 18, that's a 22. 22 on the second one. Cool. Dexterity, save, DC 12. Yep. I grab three of these, and we see what happens. Wow, nine. Incredible. I can roll this well in fucking Yahtzee. Did you make the save, Cookie? For half of nine? Uh, I got a 19. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah, so, so 
happen on No, my deck saves means no damage. That's right. Okay, yeah, there you go. You're good. Yep, and then he's going to, uh, well, he's already really far away, but I don't think he thinks he's far away enough, seeing as how Cookie fucking teleported. <laughs> uh, so he's going to, um, let's see here, this is the exit entrance? What's that is the entrance into the castle. This is the main where you go into the square. This leads out, that leads further in. Oh, he's going to go in and lock the fucking door. <laughs> Right. That would be the smart thing to do. And Is there anything else you're going to do? Um, I don't think there's anything I can do at the moment. Because um, I just used my shit. Yeah. So more guards start coming. From behind me or through the door? But if we have one character who's down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the uh, cannon ch- uh, chances on, uh, and have him roll it. So if Kreese can go ahead and roll a D10. I got one of your D10 over here. Pick your fucking favorite. Seven. All right, uh, the gift shop goes. I love that you have a chart. <laughs> <laughs> of all the many things that can blow up in like a 1990s fucking action scene. Oh! Uh, oh, Cookie, close. your turn. You're you're at this moment. You get the explosion. Uh, you're looking at the the entrance where the park police is coming down. There's about four guards that are actually going to make it through before it closes, and you can see in the shadows behind it. Uh, Elbert kind of uh, gesturing. And how would you gesture, Elbert? What? What? What am I gesturing? Are you going to flip them off? Uh, oh, wave by? Or? No, he's going to be holding his fucking wounds and retreating. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be well, like. Ah, that's I just it. Know. You're on the other side of the port close as it's coming down. Yeah. Like I said, four four yeah. more guards are going to make it through and probably die. And. Uh, uh, yeah. But he's going to be in there, and he's 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 doing, he's doing his sneaky, nefarious things. Yes. Hey, can uh, a magic missile get through a portcullis? Yeah. Through a portcullis? <laughs> What's the range on that, anyway? Magic yeah, missile? 100, sure. 150 feet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't miss. I just don't know if a portcullis would count it, as... It's, it's not covered. covered. It's, it's, it's a hole. It's great it's to hole stop you yeah. from going through, but yeah, it's all iron. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, because like, it'd be really hard to shoot an arrow through it, but also they don't miss. So I guess, yeah, a magic missile. Yeah, because you could hit. fire through a closed Especially window. at 150 feet, you're fine. Yeah. Well, you're not fine. She's fine. You're, you're going to hurt. Wait, so, so can I fire all three of my missiles? Yeah. I believe uh, that's what the little the yeah. wand was for. That's your three for the day, but you can do it. Okay. Seven damage. Seven damage. In that case, yeah, I'm going to use my reaction to half that damage. So that's four damage. So he's just like, ah, fuck! <laughs> so in this point, as a defensive aspect, he's making sure he knows where yeah. the bad guys are. Make sure he's not being followed is probably a smart way to put it. Right. <laughs> It's like, oh boy, I'm so glad this door worked and nothing magic can ever happen behind me. Uh oh. You say force damage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have resistance to force. Well, there you go. So have to have. Yeah. Oh shit! Cut that in half again. I probably just left it at that and had a much shorter conversation. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm reading. You should be <laughs> proud of me. <laughs> I thought that was kind of your job. It- is yeah, um, but also it's not. All right, so I can see like there's four guards that are coming through, and the portcullis is starting to mm-hmm. close. Yep, it's like <sighs> by the time it gets to their action, it will definitely be closed. But if you try to get to it, you are so big, you'd be you get stuck okay, underneath. Okay, I have acrobatics. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a running charge, rage during my charge with my one level of barbarian. And then I'm going to acrobatic slide underneath the door and try to come up right at his feet. Uh, what's your uh, your your? Uh, yeah, what's your movements? Uh, yeah. Thirty. How far am I? Fifteen. Thirty. Yeah, you're. I'd probably have to use both. To I'd have to use both actions to run in there. And you take a lot of attacks of opportunity. Well, and then that also leaves two people stuck out in the courtyard and me inside with two guards and Elbert. That I know, that you of. know of. Would you like mm, to die? Probably not. I'll at least okay. start charging the four guards and rage. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, totally. So you start running up and you see like the mouth get a little wider, the teeth a little pointier and frothing. My eyes go red. My muscles bulge slightly. Uh, they're not happy about it. They're not exactly. Yeah, no, they're just like, oh, another thing. It's like, oh. this wasn't in the script today. <laughs> it never is with us. Uh, go ahead and roll another 20. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not 20, 20 or 10. 10. 10. 
Who said they were opening up a Goblin King ride here? <laughs> Four. Okay, uh, the wall above the porkless kind of takes some damage. Uh, <laughs> Is that how much? Find some. Like, does the porkless break? Damn it. No. Ah! Oh, that's actually less than what mm-hmm. Wreath took, but only by a bit. But also, it's a wall, so I think it's about a lot sturdier than a dog. I don't know much about dogs. You're up one. Okay. And the four guards start taking a, a position and are aiming at you since you're running at them. Uh, they just close ground. They're, they're taking a defensive action and waiting for you to get close enough to okay. barbecue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We give something away. And that takes us back to Cookie. Oh, fuck. Cookie's got cookies. <laughs> are those those like... Ridiculously soft sugar cookies you buy in the Loft store. house sugar cookies. Loft house cookies. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. They're basically just like the medication of cookies. They're just pressed powder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's something nice about it, but... Um, pressed it's powder. That, it's that with a cookie underneath of them. It's that initial. Oh, it's so sweet. Uh, water. Water. Yep. Hydrate me. Is that beer me? Or in this house, mead me. Which, uh, Cookie, now, uh, you can't really see into... You just, he disappears, basically. He rounds a corner. Yeah. He fades into darkness. Uh, you have four guards sitting there, and they all seem to be ready to, to pounce right on top of Hogan as soon as he's, he's next. Do they look more competent than the last ones? Oh, can I roll to see if they're fucking competent? Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> they look more competent. Roll for GRE. They passed. <laughs> I stab. I got a uh, 25 and a 21. Okay, yeah, those both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your class again? Horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a rogue. Ah, that explains the sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rogue fight! Mm-hmm. Okay, and now you're attacking one or two. I'll attack the... Just one of them at a time. Okay. Uh, 33 damage. <laughs> All right. This is with the knives that come out of your neck, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to keep my lore straight for the people at home. <laughs> okay, one gets gets attacked, and their attention diverts. As you're running up to them, they're going to take their attack on you. Okay. 18. Uh, that is a miss. Oh, yeah, that's right, your AC went up. 20, natural 20. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Six. Six on a nat 20? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, actually, sorry, that'd be double speed. 12. 12. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, hang on, bud, hang on. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, another one. Another one. Ooh. They are better. Uh, 16. Dang. And the third one is kind of, I'm saying he's losing his... Uh, Drops his nerve? Stick. Not his nerve. No, uh, he, he was lunch? he was holding his action to attack Hogan. Got blindsided and was, oh, so kind of negates his action because he got stabbed. <laughs> I was gonna do something, but ow! <laughs> my liver, my liver. Uh, you don't need that. So, uh, now, now it is your turn, Hogan. Okay. You have um, a redundant liver. Yes. I'm actually gonna walk up and just kind of like double-handed grab the two spears that came at me. Mm-hmm. And just take them away. And I get advantage on strength checks right now. Okay. <laughs> not going to break them. Just going to take them. So I got a uh, well, strength check with my proficiency. That's a 19 on one. Assuming this is contested, right? Uh, it would, yeah, it would have to be contested. Because the other one is another 23. You grab them. No, no problem. Yeah. I just take them. Mm-hmm. As my move action, and then as my standard action, I attack them with their own spears. Or would that be too much this round? Would we... Well, would we, this army, you're going to have to be a club them, because you're I holding the pointy end. Yeah. I stab uh, them with the dull end. <laughs> bludgeoning damage. You could just yeah. beat them up. Yeah. yeah, because now I've got a reach bludgeoning weapon. Would I at least be able to hit one then? I'll, I'll grant it. Why not? Okay. 
You're raging. Yeah. There we go, and attacking one of them. So, plus two on that, so six, eight. Does a 15 hit one? Yes. Okay. Uh, what would my bludgeoning damage be with that? I'm going to, we'll just call it a straight club, which is... D6. So D6 plus my strength bonus right now, that is going to be you know, plus two damage from the rage. So that is nine. They held their action. You went. This is technically, they held their action from last round. Right. They technically get to go again. So two of them are disarmed. Yeah. So. Only one that's fighting Cookie's arm. I roll. That's oh, there's one more that's armed. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to roll a D20. If it's a 11 or lower... They attempt. Okay. Let's count for both. Seven to them. They stay. Okay. It goes to blows. Fist fight. Or do they have small swords on them? I just imagine them taking the, the backup dagger out of every adventurer's boot. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're... that's it. That's exactly, exactly what they did. They pull out their little uh, dagger, which to you is. Uh, Look like a butter knife. One of them attacks. Repairing knife. <laughs> and uh, swish the air. Dramatically, as a matter of fact, to cover his almost faux pas, he sits there and does a kata and says, "I meant to do that." Oh, that's even worse. I don't think it hits you. Nope. All right, uh, the one who still has a spear. Oh. What sort of armor are you wearing, or are you? Uh, it would be like a studded <laughs> leather. Okay, so the spear comes at you, and the the point starts to go into the leather, but it slips, hits one of the studs, gets jammed, and like a pole vault, the spear starts bending, and then you hear that <laughs> as it shatters. You see splinters from the spear going everywhere. And you swear as you see one of those by, it says Maiden Aerials. You little shit! Also, don't forget, half his body is armored. It got blown up. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> That was a natural one on my end. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, one that got attacked by you know. You broke your spear on my nipple, 17. you fool! My nipple stud. Cookie on a seventeen. I I couldn't hear what you're doing with the rest of the chatter. What's the seventeen for? Well, the la- the one that you attacked that didn't attack Hogan is now attacking you. Okay, yeah, that hits six points because they have cheap cheesy weapons. I want to uncanny dodge that. Okay. You take three damage. Yeah. All right. Um, but so wouldn't all Oriol's weapons do eight damage, no matter what? <laughs> in, an, in, an all, in an interval of eight, yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the area of, around the, the actual opening gets... Uh, it, it just blows up. Nobody's at that area. So nothing happens. Turn around and look for a second, and I look back at everybody else. It's like, looks like no one's coming or going from there, gang. Oh, uh, it doesn't destroy it. It's big open. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's still rolled up. It's got a beautiful dent. Yeah. yeah. Um, if, that, if there's more fucking higher than fours than anything else. Oh god, that is a lot of higher than fours. <laughs> Is it high enough number that there may be a, a, a really big dent now? It's only one four, and everything else is five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> well, let's put it this way: it, it's still passable, but you're not going to like be bringing a cart. Mm. So, would you call it rough terrain? Very. All right. The terrain has been rough. It's been established. Uh, you're off doing your thing. That brings us back to, to Cookie. Cookie. Okay, so everything that. just exploded now? Huh? What? What's exploded and who's left? Okay, uh, it didn't hit anybody, Anybody? so it, everybody's left, which is Okay, four so the guards. left terrain is the only... Yeah, the yep. place you came in from. Yeah, the entrance, the entrance is crumbling a little bit. Where you entered the castle. Okay. Yep. And then the people that are left are... Four guards. Has everyone else died? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's four guards. There's more guards inside the uh, the entrance where the port porkless is. That word is, uh, and uh, but they're not important right now because I don't think you have anything that can hit them. 
Okay, I want to hit the one closest to me. I guess the one that I've already hit. Yep. Go for it. Um, and I'm guessing 19 hits. Oh, yeah. Okay. 29. That's damage, yep. Um, yep. That's a lot of <laughs> damage. Uh, How dead is this man? Oh, he, he's... He can potentially roll a, a death save. Oh! So down. Alright. That makes two. And on that note, I forgot to do one. That's a negative. One and one. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, Hogan, you have the two guys with <laughs> boot knives and one guy with a spear. The dead guy next to you. Oh yeah, the guy with the spear. Uh, he broke his spear. On oh, that's me. right. Uh, yeah. So you have one guy who's reaching for his boot knife. You just stare at them all, and it gets a little angry. It's like every one of you is more fucking pathetic than the last. So I go to. I want to try and grab one of them. Mm-hmm. And just try to chuck him through the, like, dented gate behind us. That's fine, yeah. Go ahead. So an advantage on strength checks again. Uh, I rolled two 12s. <laughs> so. 17. That's going to be 8, 12, 20. All right. Ah. 8, 20. Well, your dirty 20 beats my 17. So, yeah, I just pick him up and stare at him for a second. It's like, every goblin here is so fucking spoiled. And I just hurl him through that gate. Like, hard enough it knocks it back open from the dent. Yeah, roll I mean, it's not going to deal damage to him, I think. Just roll a d20. Let's, let's... Four. Four. He doesn't even make it to the gate. That's fine. But I've at least thrown him to the side, and it's like just staring at the other two. He's no longer in your way. Yeah. All right. So that brings us back to just going, Albert, I'm coming! <laughs> One little knife swishes at you. Natural 20. Whoa! Uh, On the pairing knife. <laughs> <laughs> eh. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you would have done the same amount of damage if you just stepped on there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the other guy finished pulling out his knife and uh, is considering running. But that's where we're at. Okay. Yeah. You have three measly armed goblin guards with their knees shaking. Uh, there's two. There's one got thrown and one is down. Okay. You have two next to you that are, that are shaking. One that's uh, still trying to get up after being thrown by Hope. Uh, they're armed with boot knives. What are you going to do? Mm, stop. Man they, man, they didn't talk about this in the training manual. The horses. <laughs> <laughs> this horse has fucking knife, like, neck swords, man. The most worse. <laughs> okay, I got um, a 23 and a 25. Oh, let me think. No, no. He needed a natural one to hit. <laughs> It's opposite day. Yeah. It's opposite round, opposite round. Now, what's their AC? You need precisely that. Right. So, yeah, I think you've damaged him. Go ahead and roll some. 35 to one of those poor bitches. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. Looks like Cookie has such ridiculous strength bonuses because of being a horse, quote unquote. Sturdy. Plus, also is a little. Stronger, quote unquote, than the rest of us. What's the damage on the other one? No, it's just um, the oh, thirty-one is on one of them. Okay, all right. I'd say go ahead and just for it's your sake. Blows on one of them. Take the quotes out of force, just for your sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, he's a horse. I, I'm a horse. Uh, roll a I'm a real horse, a normal please. horse. And I've never seen Cookie without a ma- uh, uh, without their head. Four. Um, the pork was takes some more damage. Okay, those are big numbers again. Fuck all, dude. Any debris falling on the two goblin guards that are sitting there? Falls on them, it's gonna fall on you. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hey, Rain Man, go ahead and just do some math for me real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make some of this easy. So we got five, five, seven, three, ten, eight, 
eight, nine, nine, and one. It's a long phone number. Uh, I got to forty six nine nine one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so forty six sixty five. Yeah, that's that adds up. Right. Um, that's that's quite a bit of damage against a wall. Uh, yeah, none of it seems to be falling on you yet. But uh, if this goes any further, you're not getting in that door. If you plan on going through the park, list. fuck. Yeah. It's Hogan. You have uh, have the two people in front of you. I fire the other flare, so they'll stop. Just little boom, big boom, little boom, me no boom. Boom. <laughs> Roll a uh, percentile again. See if it clears the wall. They got bloodlust. Oh, just they might be dumb enough to think that boom is small boom means boom. Well, there 16. were other sixteen. Okay, that's a new favorite. Yeah, I think that is your turn as well. Yeah. So. Uh, because it was draw and use. That would be if I'm not moving, then that's my okay. movement and one attack action, and then I could still, with blooter knife, stab one of the other ones. Go for it. Maintain the rage. Yes. I don't get advantage on this attack roll, but I don't think I fucking hit at all. Uh, eight, four, twelve. No, you miss. Yeah. Uh, Cookie, do me a favor. Roll a d twenty, just for reasons. <laughs> 20. No. 20? 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did they actually get the fucking message? Oh, no, that was a totally different one. Oh, God. Different thing. So, uh... I'm going to shoot one last one, but it's going to be 20 of them. Right. <laughs> the grand finale. Yeah. Uh, the two guys with the knives are are brave enough to still continue going after them. 13 and a 13, that's got to mean something, right? Uh, double 13 is real unlucky for them. Yeah, that's typically bad news. And a 3 and a 4. Yeah. Bad. And then uh, I'm going to be this way about it. You're not looking. Natural 20. Ooh. Uh, from behind. Uh-huh. Four damage. <laughs> well, it's, it's a backstab, so it's doubled. Oh. And it's natural 20, so it's doubled. Eight! Eight! <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> See, the guy who has the actual weapon is inside hiding because he's playing with this. He's almost dead, too. Or is he? I, I, I think that's up to whoever's playing them. Yeah, isn't it? This is coming from the entrance, so from behind you guys. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. I think there's about 16 of them. What? I roll. I know, I see that. But that takes us to Cookie, and uh, you still have a chance to bolt. The, it's These people are coming up through the line, so they're having to try to fight through everybody. And uh, the rough terrain. And the rough terrain. Uh, but you can also, because of your speed, definitely get through the rough terrain and still start going a different direction, uh, as there are maintenance roads and all that other stuff in this place. Uh, Hogan, you have the same option? I'm going to run over to Kreeth, mm-hmm. and... I'm going to blast you with a cure wounds. So enjoy the Jesus Christ minimum four hit points. Woo! Okay. Um, go, we gotta go. Still got the three guards around you, so we left. Mm, that attack of opportunities. Uh, yeah, so I'm just. 18 and a 17. The other one's a natural one. So. They all miss. Okay, so. <laughs> You hear a swish, swish, blink, ah, my eye. And he takes six points to the eye. He accidentaled himself into almost as much damage as he purposefully me. <laughs> Accidental. Is this the cheap uh, Ariolus weapons? Mm-hmm. So, C- Cookie, uh, this is your turn. What are you going to do? Um, can I grab Kreeth and then start to make our escape? Uh, welcome up. Leave so, yes. Yay! I'm gonna do that then. I will grab Kreeth by the tail, even if he's being carried by someone, is the only appropriate way for me to uh, ride Kreeth. <laughs> by the tail? Yeah. Typically, if he just goes to bolt, I just have to grab on and hold. Okay, so you're holding on. Kreeth, you're running as best as you can on four hit points. You make it past. You see the guards trying to get through the crowd. Uh, you find a side ro- side road. Um, so, Cookie can easily get away on your own, or you can try to assist the other two to 
but it'll take a couple rolls to see if you can not only flee, but uh, lose them as you're trying to get through the access roads. Okay. Now you can Kreef, in his, his, his raspy dog voice, tells you to jump. Okay, I'll jump. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, because you're casting jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to give you an idea, as you're going through the, the gate, uh, you see the line. There's the access roads left and right. You take the one left because that seems to be going towards the open water. Uh, you make it around that first corner of the castle, and you hear jump. You jump. Uh, you, you go flying down this little road. You start doing the little Ouija. You're clearing and arcing, and then all of a sudden, you hear... You are being summoned. Hogan. You are being summoned. I don't want to. Pick up. I don't want... Mm. Hello? Where are you? I hear the sound of whooshing wind. Do you see the horse and dog and large goblin in the air right now? Nope. Hang on. Nope. 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 Where? Nope. Nope. We were, we were at the spot you were blowing up, and now we're... <laughs> boom. Go boom. Go boom. Go boom. Keep booming the castle. Do not stop booming castle. Yeah, where are you? Uh, I, I can't send a signal up. I will contact you when we are in safer spot. No, we can get you. Well, fuck. All right. Where are you? <laughs> what is it? What is Do you hear the, ch- the monk chanting? <laughs> uh, can we see them from the air? Uh, roll. Still got my sunglasses on. Is that a one? Or is that a seven? Seven. Oh, okay. No. So, plus five, twelve. Okay, Cookie, go ahead and roll. Give us a good perception. Please, Cookie, you're the real hero of this group. <laughs> one. Oh! Um. I, I have, um, the. What do you call it when you're good at the proficiency? And so it's actually nine. <laughs> I think that they could spot that shit because it's a series of cannons flying through the fucking air. I'm going to argue that's a really hard target to miss. Your passive perception well, probably picks it up. You could see where the, the cannons might be coming through. But if they're on the cliff and below you, you're not going to see exactly where they're at. They can hear it. Yeah. They can hear the boom. 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 It's two booms. Boom to launch boom and boom when hit. True. It hasn't landed yet. Yes, it has, because inside the castle somewhere you just hear the explosion and some crumbling rock and some other stuff. So you, you can see them, right? It's still your... I just kind of want to know what she rolled, though, still. Nine. A nine. Oh, nine. A nine. Nine. So you said you got proficiency on that, so you, you rolled a one and got an eight on that, so that's why it's a nine? No, I, okay. I, I have proficiency, which like brings it up to a ten. I rolled like a three. Oh, brings God. it up to ten, but my perception is negative one. Oh. <laughs> Do I see a lot of That's cannon smoke? For some reason. I see a lot of cannon smoke in an area. Yeah, you can see that easily. Okay. Uh, the only problem here is you know it's going to be a cliff about 200 feet from there. Straight down into rocky waters. Okay. I can climb. Then can still and I can also jump now. Feet. I can climb yeah. down the cliff and then jump sideways like Link. The epic shit where you slide down the wall and you just jump off Was it. that uh, Man just from imagine River? Man from Snowy River? Is that a Bond movie? Uh, no, it's an Australian movie. But it's about Australian cowboys, and they literally go down a cliff in a horse. Oh, that sounds about right. I just imagine, like, you mountain goading it suddenly, like, right on the, the cliff edge like this, just going hoppity hop all the way along. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Hey, um, she's got mad ups, dog. Yeah. Uh, well, with the assistance of the magic, I'd say that's that's okay. We can go ahead and do that. You get to the bottom. <laughs> you make the last leap. You're, you're aiming yourself towards the, the uh, assault. You can see the, the kobolds with four of the cannons on there. Mm. And uh, a lot of cannonballs. No real place to land. And How the magic they gives out. How many left? <laughs> said to bring the arsenal. They did. You know what <laughs> I said is? as many as they could pack on. Yep, half the real estate is still. You just got fucking uh, Coddle who's just like trying to keep them. From above the castle, you start hearing. And from the castle, you see a, what looks like a, uh, a black, lacquer, red sing- single gondola by itself 
decorated in gold, starts leading the castle and hitting him. Hmm. Did we technically win? If they're retreating? From the wrong castle. Technically. You also technically lost because you retreated yourself. But we're still on the attack with the cannons. We just went back to the ship. We stopped doing the... We're no longer ground troops. We've gone naval. And our horse can jump like a stupid distance. As long as the spell can be cast again. That can be. I have jump also as a first level spell. We can do this again. (laughs) But I also need to heal again. So we have priorities. I think that's that's a good spot to end it. At the moment. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambatar, Ford Vacker, and more. Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef. Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie. Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage. Ian Winningham as Maul Gillicuddy. Faye Winningham as Onyxia the 18th. Our district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, take a left turn onto Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental musician Chicago Bulls Hat. He can be found at a WSN podcast on Twitter. You can reach us at necromanticempire at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you would like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash time of your half-life. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. This is a Radio Active Shack production. Thanks for listening. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doo doo doo.